My name is Bill Scroggins. I am the inventor and patent holder of the Air Probe Sanitizer. You might want to know what that is. Well, it's a product that provides people with the cleanest air that you've ever breathed in your life. We have all of this information documented and at any time you would like to have it, we will provide it for you by showing how our system saves five to ten percent on people's electric bill, the amount of energy that is used to run their air conditioning system. The amount of sickness that is prevented in a home, in an office, in a school by having clean air provided by the air probe sanitizer. There are many things that can be done. For instance, we have proven that productivity in a building is increased by as much as 17 percent when people have clean air provided by the air probe sanitizer. This system is very interesting in that it is not complicated in any way. It operates on electricity from 120 to 277 volts. It requires no adjusting or anything. Uh, all you have to do is just hook it up and forget about it. It does not require any maintenance, does not have any moving parts, and it is extremely easy to install. The purpose of this training video is just for that reason, to show you how to install it and to see how easy it is and how easy it is to maintain. Uh, we started this out about 15 years ago. Uh, we've, had, uh, we've actually created an industry, I'm sure, if you look around, you'll find that there are many people who are trying to do what we actually do. We have systems as small as a one probe unit up to 24 probe units, 12 feet long. We can fit any air conditioning system, no matter what configuration it might have. So you will get a better handle on things as we go into the other side of our shop, showing you how the actual installation takes place. We don't want to take up too much of your time with a bunch of rhetoric but we would like for you to see how easy it is to install, and that will be our next step. I'd like to explain to everyone the reason that we've chosen this garage door to install this unit is because we cannot get all of the photographic equipment that we need inside an air handling unit. So this is basically the coils have a flange at the top and a flange at the bottom, and if you'll notice, here at the top, it was screwed in at there and then down at the bottom and that's all that's required. This is the installation rack itself. Now the next step is to install the brackets that hold the air probe sanitizer. You can see how easy it is to install these brackets because being made of aluminum, your self-tapping screws have no difficulty at all getting into the main upright and that is what supports the entire system. Each side is done exactly the same way. Care must be given when you screw into the aluminum that you do not screw into the spline that's in the middle but rather further to the back or further to the front and that's it. Brackets are installed. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. In any case, when these uh, systems are being installed, it usually takes two men less than an hour to make the entire installation. And it's repetitive. You do the same thing on every air handler depending on the height and the width of the coil itself. If you need to put a row of air probes for every three and a half to four foot in height, since we have about seven foot here, we're going to install our top unit approximately eight to 10 inches from the top because you'll get enough UV energy back up underneath the probes that you don't need to go all the way to the top and then you divide the space from the bottom of the top unit to the top of the bottom unit and that's how you determine where you put your shelving, your brackets. Box 
works. Now the next step, step number three, is to actually install the AirProbe Sanitizer's main components. And this will be done as uh, Jonathan holds the unit up to the brackets and Zach will screw them in place. Please note that as they do this, you want to try to keep from blocking off your bulbs from the coil so that you get a maximum amount of uh, UV energy back into the coil. That's what we're trying to do. Each side will require two screws and you can actually see yourself as we did do this how long it takes to do it and how easy it is to do it. It's not complicated at all and all of this is due mostly to the uprights that we put there on the face of the coil because they can be brought closer together or further apart whatever it is that we want to do. Very simple, very easy to do, so uncomplicated. Probably if you put a stopwatch on them while they were doing this, it'd probably take less than 30 or 40 minutes to install this. Now, this would be approximately what you would put on a 75 ton air handler. This would take care of it completely. Okay, now here we go on the rest of the third step by installing the other unit that will take care of the bottom half of the evaporator coil. The exact same thing is being done to the bottom unit as the top. You only have three components here. The uprights, the shelf brackets, and the units themselves. And after they are all screwed together, all you have to do is make the proper kind of electrical hookup, which should, it should be hardwired into your electrical box on the side of the wall of the air handler. And then the final step after that will be nothing more than installing the ultraviolet probes themselves into the sockets of the main body of the air probe sanitizer. We are not uh, air conditioning mechanics, so we're not quite as efficient as a air conditioning mechanic. We actually manufacture the product. That's it. We're all done. The air probe sanitizer has been installed. This is step number four. The final part of our install. Mechanic snaps in the ultraviolet probes and they stay there. They will take tremendous wind velocities. You never have to worry about them blowing out or breaking off. And notice that they are double shafted, so you get double the amount of UV. And the UV is actually able to penetrate the coil. There are companies who try to uh, install a horizontal long tube up against the coil, and you lose over 50% of your ultraviolet emissions. The ultraviolet emission must go back into the coil to prevent the formation of the sludge that builds up and that always has to be cleaned out. Once this is installed on your air conditioner, no more coil cleaning, no more chemicals, none of that is needed anymore. And this entire process, I'm sure you will agree as you watch it with two men, has been probably some 15 or 20 minutes. Now please note how easily it is to snap the probe in. There's no threads to go wrong, nothing at all, and it is very, very strong in there. It, it has an awful lot of strength. And uh, the probes only have to be replaced about once every three years, and they're rather inexpensive. So there you have it. That's a total installation of a unit on a commercial 75 ton uh, air handling unit. And depending on the size of your unit, that will depend the size that uh, we will put on your coil. I'm sure that you will agree that few things can be installed in an air conditioning system that will do the job that this does. You might like to know that if it's a brand new system, first being put in, you can install your probes 
basically around 18 inches apart. If it's a very old system, you want to put them about a foot apart because what you're looking for is the penetration back into the coil. Remember how ultraviolet works and what it does. The face of your coil is always wet. The ultraviolet converts the moisture H2O to OH negative, hydroxyl. Hydroxyl is the same substance that is produced when UVC from the sun gets down to the vicinity of the earth, converts all of the moisture in the air to this hydroxyl OH negative, and it neutralizes auto emissions, smokestack emissions, any kind of poisonous gases that are in the air, as well as removes over 90% of all particulates inside a building. That's why you get so much more productivity from the people in the building. That's why you can cut down over 50% on sickness in a building. There, the system like this will easily pay for itself in less than six months. It doesn't matter how many people are in the building, what the population is, how many is coming in, how many is going out. This system is working constantly and each probe only uses 18 watts of electricity. It is very, very economical to run. Uh, that's about all that we have to say about the installation because this is the part that is most important to you. But we'll go back into the other side in just a moment and show you a couple of uh, very minute things that I think it would be good for you to know so that you can successfully enjoy the air probe sanitizer. You will notice that all connectors are equipped with a Greenfield connector which should be hooked up to Greenfield or some other type of conduit and run to your electrical supply. Notice that on the end of the unit you have a fuse that will blow in case there's any shorts in the unit and you have your on off switch. All you have to do is push it in and your units come on, push it and the units go off. So anytime someone's working inside an air handler, flip it off, but you also should have a switch outside the air handler or a door switch on the door of the air handler so that when you go in and out, the power to the unit is shut off so that you'll prevent anyone from getting burned their eyes or their skin from the ultraviolet emitters. Something else that is noteworthy, no matter if you have a single probe unit, a double probe unit, or a unit that has 24 probes on it, you have the same bases, the same wire protectors, the same switches, so you don't have to carry a lot of extra parts. Everything is the same, and again, it's so easy to come out, so easy to go back in. And you'll notice that the construction of these probes is so heavy. There are other probes on the market. Beware. You just tweak them a little bit and they break. These will not break. These are very, very strong. I'm sure that we'll enjoy the simple unit that it is. We don't want it to look complicated. We don't want to try to sell you a bunch of stuff that you don't need. What we want you to be is happy with our product because we surely are happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It's very simple. I'm sure you couldn't hardly believe that it could be so simple, but that's the way it is. We also make very small units, single probes, double probes. Something you might want to look up a little bit closer is the way that these probes go in and out of the socket. You have to be careful that you don't break the socket. This is the flexible side of the socket. When you put your probe in, you always put it in on the permanent side, the stiff side of the, of the socket, snap it in, that's it. Nothing more to do. You, it, I think it's also noteworthy to show you that we have a UL classification. We also have a classification in all of Europe. We have the CE mark as well. And the product is being sold all over the world. Get yours as soon as you can and you'll breathe a lot better and you'll feel a lot better. Don't hesitate to get a hold of us.